What is up everybody? So I know that geometry is a sore spot for so many students. So these are 10 questions you absolutely have to have down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT geometry. Okay, let's do it. All right, so there's a common thing that shows up on a lot of questions, and this common thing is that when you see a right triangle within another right triangle, and it's gotta be a very specific setup. So let's take a look at this here. It says, in the triangle shown, what is the length of CD? And let's take a look at this figure here. We have a right triangle, and then another right triangle within it. Now, let's pay attention to these two right triangles and see if they're similar. So what's happening here is, remember, two triangles are similar if their angles are equal to each other. So let's take this small triangle and pull it out to make this more clear. So what do we have? We have triangle ACE and triangle BDE. Now notice, what makes two triangles similar? They're similar if all of the angles are equal to each other. So here, what do we have? They both have a 90, and now let's take a look at this. If you take a look at the original diagram, angle AEC is the same as angle BED. So both of those share that small angle. As a result, what do we know? If two angles are the same, the third angle has to be the same in each of these triangles. Why? Because we're subtracting from 180. It's 180 degrees total. If two are the same, the last one has to be the same. So we know now that we have two similar triangles. Now what's the question asking? It's asking for the length of CD. So here's what we're gonna do. Remember, two triangles that are similar have sides in ratio to each other. So we can say AC over CE, and let's just mark those real quick and highlight them, AC over CE has to be equal to BD over DE. So now let's work with that information. If we have AC over CE, we know AC is 12. We don't know the full length of CE. And remember, we're trying to find CD. BD over DE has gotta be three over four. So now we have 12 over X equals three over four. So now let's cross multiply. 12 times four is 48. Three times X is three X. We have 48 equals three X. Divide both sides by three and what do we have? X is 16. Now, the important thing is, what is that X? That X represents all of CE, right? So if all of CE is 16 and DE is four, we do 16 minus four to get that CD. The part that we're looking for is what? 12, answer choice B. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like love it. I think yeah. that's the one.